Welcome everybody. So today we'll be continuing computer organization and architecture. And today we'll be learning about one Newman computer or architecture. So its another name is IAS, that is Institute of Advanced Studies. So in 1945, one Newman and his colleagues began the design of a new computer, now referred to as IAS computer. So with rare ex exceptions all of the today's computers have this same general structure and function that was designed in the 1945 so this was published by john von neumann and his computer architecture consists of a control unit arithmetic and logical unit memory unit and registers and input outputs so von neumann architecture is based on the stored program computer concept where instructions and data program are stored in the same memory not in different memory they are stored in the same memory so this design is still used in most of the computers so this is just the architecture so input device so this is the structure of it so central for cpu a control unit the arithmetic and logical unit alu and memory so all of this will be used in the same memory and it will after that it will go to the output so i'll just draw on it so the size starts from zero so this is the figure one so the figure one shows that the data format so figure one is the data format so data format how data is stored so leftmost bit represents the sign bit that is zero is for positive so zero is for positive and one is for negative okay then the remaining then the th remaining 39 bits so this 39 bits from 1 to 39 these are used for number size for indicating the number size this was number format or data format next we have figure 2 that represents instruction format which is a 40 bit long but each instruction is 20 bits so you can see it is divided from 0 to 20 and then 20 to 39 okay it is divided into two so that it is stored in a 40 bit memory and 8 bit op code that is known as operation code so op code that is known as operation code operation code defines operations to be performed and the 12 bit address that is used to store the operand of the instruction so 0 to 8 stores the op code and this 8 to 20 that is 12 bit stores the address and again 20 to 28 op code and this again stores the address okay so this is known as the left instruction and this side is known as the right instruction the memory of IAS consists of 1000 storage locations called wards so 1000 storage locations called wards each consisting of 40 bits so that is very important okay so now we have something known as von Neumann bottleneck So this is just a very small topic but it is very important okay so one of the major factors affecting a computer's performance is the time required so time required to move instructions and data from cpu to the main memory so you need to go back and forth from cpu to main memory so see you can see here this is the thing i'm talking about from cpu to main memory so the CPU has to wait longer. So CPU wait has to wait longer to obtain the data from the memory than from its registers because registers are very fast. So registers are very fast and are placed logically inside the CPU. So logically placed inside CPU. At this point is very important these are very fast and placed logically inside cpu or processor whatever you can say so this speed so this cpu and memory this speed disparity so speed 
disparity this is the keyword right here so this cpu memory speed disparity is referred to as von neumann bottleneck okay so i hope that you had understood the lecture and if you had any problem just comment on the comment section and if you did like the video hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for more videos so thanks for watching it